Well, hello, people of the internet. This is Brownstone here, coming to you with a video, and, uh, tonight, we're, we are going to talk about, uh, something I discovered earlier. And it's going to tie into another thing I'm going to talk about, but, basically, Geeks and Gamers lost another subscriber. So, yeah, that's the first thing I wanted, wanted to talk about. Yeah, Geeks and Gamers actually... Lost another 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 subscriber, and I guess that's to be expected because he's been uh, whining nonstop about uh, about uh, Disney and other uh, other corporate failures and stuff, and uh, it's getting tiring. I mean, I've seen a lot of people well saying I used to follow this guy, but his channel has now become. Uh, I'm obsessed with uh, Brie Larson and uh, and tearing into to uh, corporate Hollywood and stuff, and not geeks and gamers stuff, and that's one of the many reasons people unsubscribe, along with the fact that he's toxic and a number of other things. But is this is this a win for Disney? Not exactly. One because. There are still other Phantom Menace channels out there that don't seem to have lost subscribers. And, uh, and Disney is still suffering big time with Disneyland being closed and being continuing continue to be closed down. And the fact that they've lost a lot of revenue due to, due to this COVID-19 pandemic and had to lay off a lot of employees. So, yeah. 2020 has not been good for Disney, and I'm going to say that in my New Year's speech coming uh, December 31st, I think. I have to say that 2020 has been the weirdest year ever. <laughs> it has also been a period of growth for this channel, so if there's one thing, if there's one good thing that has come out of it, it's the fact that our channel has blossomed because of it. It went from uh, 40 something subscribers to uh, to now what? 288 subscribers? This year has been our most active year of all time. And I have to say there's going to be more active years in the future. Probably because a lot of people have time to watch our content. Thank you all to have, to, to have subscribed so far. And I'm grateful for everything you've done to contribute to the cause. So back to the main topic. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess you could say it's a win for Disney. But I wouldn't say it's exactly a win. Since Disney is still suffering. But in the te technical sense. You could consider that a win. Since our main rival. Disney's main rival is the Phantom Menace. And Geeks and Gamers is starting to lose subscribers. Because of his non-stop whining. And I think that other Phantom Menace channels will follow. I mean, it's only a matter of time before people realize that uh, that if you really want to uh, make 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 a difference and uh, spread a, and, and send a message to corporate Hollywood, don't go and whine on YouTube about it. I mean. You can make noise on YouTube, obviously, but you're not really going to get that big of a message in, in across. Now, I know that may sound hypocritical because we're on YouTube, we're spreading a message. And I'm not saying that you can't spread a, spread a message. But but in this in, in this circumstance, you, you 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 can't really do anything much much to Hollywood. And that's mainly because they're all powerful. They are the corporate elites. Elites, that sort of thing. There's really not much you can do. The Phantom Menace may be dedicated to removing identity politics from uh, Hollywood, but it's not like they're going to do that. It's not like they can actually do that, no matter how big they are. They're fighting a losing battle. They'll never destroy Hollywood. Hollywood is bigger than they are, obviously. 
So yeah, people are starting to realize that and they're getting tired of this this anti anti diversity nonsense and and uh white supremacist racist propaganda and they are they're unsubscribing from Geeks and Gamers. Now, as I mentioned before, other channels, other Phantom Menace channels will soon follow, I bet. If not, well then you can laugh in my face about it. I'm open to being laughed at. But yeah, Disney still continues to suffer big time because of this COVID-19 pandemic. But on the plus side, a vaccine, a vaccine will hopefully be coming <clears throat> coming soon. They're testing out they're testing out vaccines, so I heard. And uh, we'll we'll get a vaccine soon. That means It'll soon be uh, available uh, available to, to everyone, and we'll all live happily ever after in our own Disney story. Hopefully. Unless another pandemic comes in 2021. Oh my goodness, did I just jinx it? Well, we'll find out. I thought this year would be would be a period a period of growth for Disney, but apparently a lot of things have been happening. And it's not just Disney. Other other corporations have been suffering too, whether it be from uh, radical hate mobs, radical movie hate mobs, or or the pandemic, or Netflix losing subscribers and that sort of thing. It's crazy. This year has been a crazy year, but we're making through it. We're already we're we're already more than half. Halfway through the year. And hopefully 2021 will be better. I'm hoping. I mean, there's a lot of good movies scheduled to come in 2021. A lot of good TV shows scheduled to come in 2021. So, 2021 might be a period a period of growth for these companies. We'll see. I guess that will depend on uh, on nature and what nature has planned. Because... Hey, only the mouse knows. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and drop a like. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.